hello in this video we are going to display order in user side so first of all we need to create these two page display order dot aspx and view full order dot aspx inside this user page so i am going to create a new item we have to use this same code over here but first of all we are going to create this page display underscore order dot aspx select master page add and we have to add this inside this user page okay so we are here now we are going to close all page so close all but this so this page is here now our page name is display order so we have to copy this asp repeater from here copy from admin display order and we need to paste here now here view code we have to go inside this view code page display order so now we are going to open this c sharp page code here we need to give this connection string and we need to add here using sorry using system dot data and using system dot data dot sql client and now here in page load copy this code and paste over here but now here we have to give one condition select of orders where wait i will show you in orders we have email so we have to write like this where email is equal to we need to check login page what we are using username or what in session or we are using session user so we have to write here where we don't have username here okay so no problem inside this login page we have to take here email oh yeah in session user we have already this email so no problem at all so we need to write here where email is equal to session user dot to string because if i login using uh, email id abc at the gmail dot com then i can see only my order i cannot see any other person order so we have to give this email so display order page code is over now close this all now we need to create one more page page name is view underscore full underscore order dot aspx so right click add new item view underscore full underscore order dot aspx and again we need to add this page inside user side so we have to take user user master okay so we have this page now we have to open this view full order page and we need to copy this copy and we need to paste over here now i am going to close this page right click view code user view full order dot aspx dot cs and now we are going to open this page admin side view full order dot aspx dot cs here we need to copy this to now we need to copy this all and paste over here and now we need to add here using system dot data and using system dot data dot sql client okay and now we need to give one condition because user cannot open this page without login so we need to give a condition if 
session user is equal is equal to null then response dot redirect login dot asps and we need to use this condition also in this page display order and also we have to use this condition inside this chat route page okay we already added that chat route page delete our demo display item login load route order details payment gateway yeah we need to use this condition also here because user cannot open this page without login then payment success not required product description registration test testing update order details yeah here we need update order details view full order okay so we give your condition now i am going to run this page view full order dot asps set a startup page now i am going to run this page not this page but we have to run order details set a startup page and now i am going to run this page and our code should be forward to us on login page this page should not be open why this page is open again stop and i am going to run order details page is run but why because we already added condition here right now there is no value inside this session then why this page is run session user is equal is equal to this page is run now we are going to check yeah this is the order details page and we have to run this display order page where is our display order page set a starter page now our code is okay so don't worry yeah you can see here we forward directly on login.asps page okay and now we need to give a condition here if user already login then we need your logout button so and then we are going to check that so first of all we need to open here user dot master oh yeah we already added transition over here and we do not require this support here we are going to use display order display order dot sps dot cs and we do not require this but display order menu should be user can see after and after login so we need to add over here so user can see this menu only and only after successfully login okay so now i am going to run this and we need to login now so i am going to write here my email id and my password now login now you can see in display order page we are going to get in this and now view full order you can see here 
we add it here our order details also so this way we can add this order details inside this user side and now we will we'll complete the maximum over here now we need to use session inside admin side so we are going to open admin side first of all admin login page here we need to take session session admin is equal to t1 dot text so now copy this and we need to add this inside all page is equal to null then we need to add here response dot redirect login dot sps now copy this and we have to add in all page this testing is not important so we are not going to add inside that okay and now we need to add here one logout page also so i am going to add new page add new item web form logout.sps we do not require this master page in this page because user cannot see this page so no worry about that we get here logout.sps in view code we have to write session dot clear and response dot redirect login dot asps now we need to open this admin master page and here first of all we need to run this add product page now i am going to run this login page set a startup page now i am going to run and we are going to remove unwanted menus from admin side so we are going to clear our admin panel yeah dashboard u element blend page so dashboard is important dashboard means first page dashboard and we do not require this included so i'm going to remove this save okay. in place of this ui element we are going to use add items So here add items inside this page we are going to add our page name is add underscore product dot asps so we do not require this add items then we need display order so i am going to use display order and we do not require this now here we are going to add disploder.asps and now we need logout link so i am going to use here logout and now we are going to add here logout.asps and we can give here link also so we have to find that logout yeah here and we can give here logout.asps okay so now i am going to copy this and go into logout what is the name of ah, admin login so in logout page we need to write here admin login.asps now if i am going to paste this here you can see we directly follow the login page because uh, we need to stop and run a train so user cannot open any page without login so i am going to paste this link and enter why
upload route page oh yeah we add over here login we need to admin login admin login and admin login okay so so now we are following on admin login page load route now we cannot open any page refresh and load out so this way we can use session inside this now our main target is now only one thing I will show you what we are going to perform in user side I am going to run this login page now now right now we have this page the store page so we are getting this item over here now in my next video i am going to show you how you can add here category means from laptop desktop mouse etc so when you are click on this then you can get here only laptop computer if you are going over here then you are getting here desktop and as per category you can perform over here and in this page in this link when user enter abc and search then we are going to get record using abc so these two functionalities remain in this project so i am going to complete this as soon as possible thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it so maximum people can use this thank you so much